welcome to Zatu Live, uh, the last in our Christmas and Beyond series where we recommend what's known as a gateway game, a game that's an easy entry into the hobby and then something a bit more complicated. Today we're talking about a veritable modern classic, Ticket to Ride. I have the Europe version um, but uh, there's a plenty of versions around there. Most recently the New York version, which takes the trains of this game into taxis in New York and shrinks the whole game down into a 15 minute package. Ticket to Ride Europe plays one to five, uh, sorry, two to five players and the whole game revolves around constructing routes to complete tickets. You will have a number of uh, route cards which come in different colours which relate to the board. On your go, you'll either collect more cards, more tickets, which define the routes that you're trying to achieve, and or play them to the table to complete routes across this board. The board is a big old map of Europe in this case, and as you can see, there's different colours for uh, the routes. So here we have a two black, so to play, claim that route, you need to play two black cards, and then you can put your trains on there. There's various rules like tunnels and long journeys and things like that, but essentially the game works like that. There's only a few choices on each uh, go. Do you take more cards? Do you play some cards to get some trains out? Or do you take some more tickets for more end game scoring opportunities? During the game, you will score for the length of your routes, uh, and at the end game, you'll score for all your tickets and if you have the longest route. So it's kind of set collection in terms of the cards and uh, route building in terms of the rest of the game. My advice for the next game up is called Council of Four. Now, Council of Four, I didn't think was going to remind me of Ticket to Ride at all, but it really did. Firstly, you have coloured cards in your hand. Now, rather than playing uh, for you know, a number of the same card, coloured card, to get a route, you're playing cards that match uh, certain councils. So each council will be made up of certain colours. You can influence those colours and try and influence that council to uh, put a person out on the board. And when you're putting a person out on the board, you want them really to link up with nearby cities because you'll get those bonuses as well. So as you can see, it's a double-sided board, hello, <laughs> it's a double-sided board this one, but you can see, let's not do it upside down, Whee! that the different places all link up and different bonuses are put out each game so there's variety and if I put a person here and I have one here and here, I'm going to get all those bonuses. The councils sit at the bottom, you can change those. There's a special way you can get uh, people to places where you don't have the right cards. Uh, it just adds a nice layer to the route building and set collection of Ticket to Ride and gives you a bit more to think about and a bit, uh, bit more to interact with. So for the gateway present, for the gamer who's new to gaming, wants an absolute classic that plays well with almost everyone I've played it with, Ticket to Ride is a great choice. For the person looking to up their Ticket to Ride game or want some route building that's a bit more meaty, then I really recommend Council of Four. You can find a review of Council of Four on our website, www.board-game.co.uk and both games are in stock to buy on Zatu. So thanks very much for joining this week, this, <laughs> joining us this week for Christmas and beyond. And if you would like to see more live content from Zatu, just give us an idea of what type of content you'd want in the comments or send us a message uh, with your ideas, what you'd like to see more of. Would you like to see live plays? Would you like to see more of the video we did earlier saying what the big fuss is about a certain game? giving a brief overview. You let us know what you'd like to see and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.